Catch me if you can. We need your help to solve this cryptic mystery. While we were caught 12 across, a 12 across took place. And not just one, but six of them. This only affected the wordplay portion of the clues, not the definition or the grid entry. Can you help us track down the perpetrator? All we have to go on is this note he left us. Catch me if you can. 30 across. Okay, so we're going to catch 30 across if we can, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do it. So that's today's Variety Cryptic. If we solve this one really, really, really quickly, I do have a second Variety Cryptic crossword ready, but it looks quite complicated. So uh, if we solve this one very quickly, I'll consider it, but otherwise it'll just be a second normal Cryptic crossword after we do this one. But anyway, good evening to everyone in the chat. Hello, uh, Alchemist, Meredith, Arch, uh, Foggy, Foggy, we like shapes, um, Scissorakitis, uh, a uh, ABB, hello! Uh, Foxy, you're always welcome as well, Kytus, I think I've already said you. Right, so let's start across, uh, start with one across. Give me a first chance to go through the things, give me a first go, and then when I get stuck, I will shout for help. And I have a certain can of soda right here, right here, for a relatively uh, useful clue. Making a comeback, Man on the Moon singers might complain loudly. Making a comeback, Man on the Moon singers might complain loudly. Evening, uh, M. Van der Vander. Good to, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Ah, uh, don't worry. Any, anything. Did it it, 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 it didn't mute it all the time, did it? It very bizarre. I, I played The Witness yesterday and the Hall of the Mounted King got played quite a lot because it's part of one of the challenges and it only muted it some of the time. I don't know why. Making a comeback man on the moon singers might complain loudly. Mmm. So nothing is... Nothing is... Nothing is jumping out at me on that one. I can't really even parse it. Making a comeback might be the definition or complain loudly. It'll be one of those. Man on the Moon. Oh, uh, hang on. Man on the Moon. That's by R.E.M. I'm going to need to know that. And if it's making a comeback, it's probably reversed. So if it's Man on the Moon, which is R.E.M., but reversed, that'd be M.E.R. Might complain loudly. It's going to be something like that. Ah, M. Van. This this is a cryptic puzzle. If you, have you done a cryptic crossword before? Uh, if you haven't done a cryptic crossword, I recommend hanging hanging tight because the second puzzle we'll do later will be a bit more normal. But this, this is going to be a variety of cryptic, so there's a fun additional thing going on. <laughs> oh, good luck, M. Van. Well, hopefully we'll be able to teach you how these things work. Uh, I would recommend the second puzzle in the stream rather than the first. Uh, right, so I know a few of you got this one. We Like Shapes has got it. Hey, Ali Law Law Law. Are you, are you related to Bob Lob Law? Bob, 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 Bob Lob Law. No, Bob Lob Law, the lawyer from uh, Arrested Development. Um, uh, 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 and uh, Citizen Raz also got it. I'm going to come back to this one because I feel like I will be able to get it, but just not yet. Five across. Museum art finally follows motif. Museum? Art finally follows motif. I mean, museum... Art finally is T. Finally, the last letter of art. As you're a programmer, or, or at least that sort of mindset, M. Van der Vander, you'll actually be able to work out why a lot of things are the things they are. So art finally is probably referring to the final letter of art, which is T. Follows motif. A theme. Art, a theme? Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, Arch, Meredith, and Citizen Ra all getting this one. Uh, I can't solve today's M van because there's a couple of cro there's a couple of crosses that I don't know, uh, which is quite annoying. Uh, but it's the Met. The Met is a museum, Metrop Metropolitan Museum of Art. Art finally is T, and it's following a motif, which is a theme. So you get that. So it is the Met. Ten across. Broke Teary Dad. Make short term gamble. Broke Teary Dad. Make short term gamble. I'm getting my pad of paper. This feels like. An anagram. Oh, thank you, Caroline. Yes, there's always a wordplay part. There's always a definite. Well, I say always. There's always exceptions. That is always true. But there's usually a wordplay part, and there's usually a 
a definition part. That's that's the big thing that I wish someone had told me when I was trying to learn, because otherwise it just makes no sense. Anyway, this feels like an anagram. Broke is an anagram indicator. If you break something, you put it into a random order or smaller pieces. So I think it's an anagram of teary dad. Sorry, teary dad. Um, makes short term gamble. Oh, yes. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Gosh, how long ago was that, Meredith? I'm not calling you old. I'm not not calling you old. But when the heck was Apple stock cheap? That was several centuries ago. It wasn't in this. It wasn't in this millennium, was it? Uh, who has this one? Uh, Kytus, what do you think this one is? And Meredith, uh, Meredith, Meredith and Kytus, let me know whilst you type that in. I'm going to start typing in what I think it is. I think it is a day trade. It is indeed an anagram. Oh, need to make that column slightly larger. Uh, so a day trade must be a short-term gamble, and it's an anagram of Teary Dad. Literally, it's broken up. So six of these clues are different in that something so, something is different about them, and it only but it only affects the wordplay portion. So that's something to bear in mind if if we can't get something to fit. I'm gonna have a look at the downs in this top uh, north uh, east part of the grid. Uh, I'm going to take a look at this. So this is five down. So just to explain my numbering notation. Uh, so this one is 13 across. This one is 14 across because of the 13 and the 14. This one is six down and this one is 19 down. If there's two numbers, that's what they refer to. So this is five down. Uh, whoops, wrong one. No, stop it. Five down. Empty pistols framing pool worker. Empty pistols Framing pool worker. So that is this one here. Empty pistols. <gasps> I spotted a type of clue that I often don't spot, which regular viewers will know. Um, woo! Uh, it's technically true. It, it it very much helps. This is why I'm dealing with the northeast corner now, because I have some letters to hang on to. Uh, evening, Catnip. Evening. You say it's obvious, Kytus. I wouldn't have got it if, without those TY bits. Um, uh, so, uh, type it in the chat if you've got this one. Happy for this. This is typists. No, typists, singular. So a pool worker is a typist, as in the typing pool, back in the day. Uh, I didn't see when you, when did you do those, when did you trade those Apple things? I forgot to, I forgot to, forgot to ask. Yeah, uh, no, I did ask, but I couldn't see when did you do the type. It's very, very cool. Uh, typist is literally hidden in empty pistols. It's literally hidden in it. it. Empty pistols is framing it. So therefore, typist is your answer there. Let's take a look at... Uh, this one, he says, changing his mind. Let's go with six down, five letters beginning with E-R. Sesame Street character. Okay, I think think there can only be one Sesame Street character, five letters beginning with E-R. Hugging midsection of Big Bird. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's, that's a nice clue. <laughs> uh, uh, my grandmother used to be a typist. She she of the knitting of the bobble hat, uh, the, the the lovely bobble hat, which I currently is out of reach. I'm afraid. Um, she that that was her. That was her first job. I'm not calling you that old. <laughs> Dig you out of that one, Dan. Um, Alchemist Arch, what do you think on this one? I've got the derived kitus. So I'm happy with this one. I'm gonna uh, so type it in the chat. Happy in this one. It is Ernie. It is Ernie because it's the letter I in urn. Uh, so a bird is is an urn, uh, E R N E, and it's literally hugging the midsection of big. The midsection of big is the letter I. It's the middle letter. Uh, so urn hugging the I is Ernie, and that is the uh, character from Sesame Street. Okay, that's a big one. Let's leave the big one until next. Uh, eight down. Camp shelter boasting excellent view. Camp shelter boasting excellent view. I mean, I've got an idea what it might be based on the lettering, but I couldn't parse it if it is that. Um, uh, 
<laughs> urn definition, a large bird appearing primarily in crosswords. It does. Uh, one of my friends tried to work out what is the most uh, overly used word in crosswords. And he didn't have a big enough database to work it out. But basically, if you were, if, if you had uh, how often words were used in a normal language and then how often words are used in the crossword language and then divided one by the other how many which is disproportionately you well overly used uh, uh it would probably you know, urn or oleo or oxo or anything like that oreo is definitely up there oreo is definitely up. you say it's uh, it's uh has appeared quite a bit recently uh, arch and meredith go for this one uh is it TP. I think it's TP. Um, but I don't have the derivation of it if it is that. Um, so I'm hoping that you'll be able to... Oh, you had Tenet. So a view... So I, I was focusing on a camp shelter there, but a camp shelter is a tent. That It is Tenet, absolutely. Oh, I got suckered into a TP there. Yep, Tenet, yep. Uh, and if something's excellent, the letter E can represent excellent. Uh, although I always got E's at school. I just presumed they were, they were excellent, you know. Uh, you put an E in tent and you get tenet, and that is a view. Uh, let's have a look at 14 across. Uh, sorry, yes, 14 across. I, I'm aware I'm doing it in a random order. I'm sort of just going around the grid. 14 across. Cheese fanciers. I love the word cheese. Eating no type of pie. We did a wonderful cheese puzzle on Tuesday. If you like... Puzzle boat puzzles. Uh, if you like puzzle hunt style puzzles, uh, I'm doing them on a Tuesday evening. That is my puzzle boat six stream. Cheese fanciers uh, eating no type of pie. So a, someone who likes cheese is a churophile, and I have uh, only connect knowledge to thank for that. There was a, a team of cheese lovers called the Churophiles. Um. I <laughs> <laughs> um, cheese fanciers. So it's eating no. So eating no. We're probably going to put putting n, n in either cheese fanciers for a type of pie, or or we're going to putting n in a type of a type of pie could be apple lime pie. What type of steak and ale? Oh, I'm going to be hungry now. I would love. Ah, oh, a, a Greg, a Greg's chicken bake. That's what I really want now. For some reason, it's like a pie, but in in a, in a holdable form. Um, that ends the product placement section of. Oh no, we haven't got to, we haven't got to seven down yet. Um, okay, wrong time of year for this. Mince. Okay, so it's going to be mince pie then, is it? Cheese fancies a mice. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> I like that. Mince pie. Mine. So, uh, so mice. Put e. Uh, put n in it. So cheese fancy is eating n. Uh, I think, if I remember rightly, good evening, Foggy. Uh, welcome back. If I remember rightly, n isn't actually in the Oxford English Dictionary for. Uh, you doesn't represent an n does not represent o, no, or the other way around in it yet but i'm more than happy with y equal yes and n equals no because you see it all the time in in common usage but i don't know whether it's made it into the dictionary or not technically uh so it, indeed it's in computing and such absolutely it's in quite common usage but i'm not sure if it's made it in, into the oxford english dictionary yet and so when i worked at, at the press association in the uk and we did puzzles things like that they were like mm, we could get a complaint and i'm like yes but i see it all the time and mm. So they like to err on caution. Anyway, it's time for this. It's seven down. Now, what it? What clue is seven down? Well, this is seven up. So seven down. Hooray! Uh, it looks like education or something like that, uh, doesn't it? Uh, in fact, almost. Yeah, it, it is exactly that. Uh, although. Although. That's not. This looks like one of the funky clues, doesn't it? So a nude oil distributed, anagram of a nude oil. There's only nine letters there. And education, is education right? Education. Oh, okay, so it's not quite that. Anyway, the, the, what this is a funky clue. This is one of the... Um, one of the weird ones. It's definitely edge... It's definitely edu... Edu... Educational, yes. Edu K 
educational. That would make sense. So what letters are we missing there? Uh, educational. And we're taking off a nude oil. So there's that CA in the middle. That CA in the middle, maybe, I think. The T's there. Oh, no, hang on. Is the T not there? It's the cat in the middle, isn't it? Oh, cat dip. Yeah. So it looks like, and I'm going to shade them in for now. Just going to shade them in. Let's color it that. Those look like they might be missing. Hey, Catnip, this is all about you. 16 across. Let's see. So it only affects six of the clues. So maybe we're going to get cat missing. Maybe we might miss pets. Something like that. So the name of this puzzle is Catch Me If You Can. Oh, Catch. Catch Me If You Can. Is it going to be missing cats? I think it could be. Based on Catch Me If You Can. 16 across. Uh, 16 across. Was a father to panhandle nearby. Was a, was a father to a panhandle nearby. Uh, yes, no, no, don't, no shouting at the theory yet. I know you've all got theories. Uh, so, um, yeah, okay. Ooh, this one I'm not, not spotting. Uh, was a father to panhandle nearby. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay. No, I know what the solution is, but I, okay, I'm going to put the solution is because I want people to tell me why it is. Why is it begat? It, you know, in the Bible, someone begat someone or other they were a father to. Panhandle nearby? Oh, if you panhandle, you beg. <gasps> that I was entirely thinking geographically. Begat. Thank you very much. Uh, we should surely be able to get 11 down now. It's going to be timber. Uh, sports official seizing sliver of bat's wood. Okay, it's probably timber then, because that is wood. But why, why would that be that? Ah, uh, thank you, puzzling old man. Thank you. Yes, uh, hold up a few seconds before, before that one. Uh, I know I'd said it, but uh, do hold up a few extra seconds. So it's timer with the letter B hidden in it. The sliver of bat is B, and a sports official is a timer. I was thinking ref or umpire or ump or something like that. Wasn't. Anyway, Timber, that works. Put that in there. Right, let's have a look at 12 across. 12 across. So it'll probably end in G. I'm going to put the G in right now and B proved wrong. 12 across. See instructions. Oh, right. I can take the G out then just so that we know that we haven't done that one. That one is uh, the instructions. Uh, 18 across. Mexican beer added into a kind of shot. Mexican beer added into a kind of shot. Well, I've got an idea, but... But it isn't. Um, mm. Mexican beer added into a n for no isn't it yeah see i'm surprised uh okay definitely don't tell me 12a yet definitely don't tell me that uh it, it needs to be put in chambers definitely needs to be put in chambers for the for y equals yes n equals no because i think it's relatively common these days everybody write to them and complain um added into a kind of shot i mean i'm thinking of a tetanus shot a virus shot a, uh Oh, that's interesting. It's not just, it does allow it, oh, N concern for lots of things, but it really needs to see for no. Oh, you've, ah, oh, hang on. I think I've got it as well. I think I've got 12 across as well, but we will, we'll all stip. Any, uh, Arch, can I, have, can I have some clues on 18 across, please? Um, what's that? The Mexican beer, Corona. Um, uh, evening, dagamith, dagum, dadgumita. Uh, good evening. Uh, need a, 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 oh, whoops, what have I done there? Um, a hint, please. It's going to be a Mexican beer. 
added into doesn't work exactly like you'd expect. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So this this is a funky one. Okay. So if if it's a funky one, does that mean we're going to be having cats here? Ah, uh. uh, I see. T -t 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 to cat to catch. No, no, not spotting this Mexican beer. Added into a kind of shot. T. Do you have a T shot? T E A. A tet. I don't know my Mexican beers here, which is not going to help me. So in that case, may I have the answer to uh, to this one? Oh right, okay. Well, I just I was going for T E A. So a kind of shot a T shot. Ah, I was thinking a shot of tea, as in like a British very small cup of tea. <laughs> or oh, four o'clock, have you shot a tea? Oh, I'll get you through the day. So. So, Tikate, and that is, uh, is that a type of Mexican beer? Fine. Okay, so there we go. Uh, 19 down. Uh, oops. Uh, 19 down. Burn General Electric's orders. Burn General Electric's orders. <laughs> uh, what were you wanting to link to, Meredith? Sorry, I, I, it's I. Nightbot is very. Uh, bleh. If anyone tries to post a link, he doesn't like it. So it knows you're not. I know it's not you, but uh, what do you want to post? And I'll, I'll give you. Uh, Mission for 60 seconds. Oh, okay. Uh, there you go. So if you burn, you char. So I'm currently thinking char something or other. But then orders. A charter. A charter could be your orders. General electrics. Ge ah, no, general is G. GE. General electric is GE. Uh, I, I I can, but I'm not going to because I don't want people spamming links into the chat. So GE is General Electric. So General Electrics is GES. Uh, if you char, you burn. Charges, those are your orders. Okie doke. Uh, at 20 down. Hammer, neighbor, and bludgeon a murder. Uh, let me just check that. Yeah. Hammer, neighbor... And bludgeon a murder. You wouldn't do that, Meredith, but uh, but who knows who might? Um, hammer neighbor. If you hammer, you hurt. You pelt. You throw. You hurl. Uh, Bludgeon. Bludgeon you. Neighbour. Who's your neighbour? Who's your neighbour? I've just worked out the theme. Yeah, I've definitely got it. Definitely got it now. Very happy. I, uh, can I have a hint, please, Degum, on uh, 20 down? Twenty down. Uh, I'm gonna put an R here, just to prove that I think I know what thirty across is. And I'm gonna put a, an N here as well. So I, because I'm gonna reveal twelve and thirty in a second, but not. But gonna wait. Gonna wait until after we've done twenty down. Uh... You have to find the indicator. Yeah, hammer. Hammer doesn't feel like it's a murder. Is it a murder of crows? Is it going to be a murder? Feels like it must be the definition. 
but uh, we have to find the indicator. Oh, is it an anagram of a murder? Yes, it's got to be an anagram, bludgeon a murder. We're going to anagram of a murder and it's going to be the neighbor of a hammer. And I'm assuming it must be in the ear because yes, it is. There we go. Because the hammer, anvil and stirrup are in the ear. So it is the ear drum. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Right, 12 and 30. Go for it in the chat. What do you think 12 and 30 are in the chat? I'm going to give you a few seconds whilst I start putting in the letters as to what I think it is. So, while we were caught catnapping, a catnapping took place. Six of them. This affected the wordplay portion of the clues. All we have for this clue is catch me if you can. The cat burglar. I assume cat burglar. So we, we were having a cat nap, we were sleeping, and a cat napping happened. So the word cat is going to be removed from six clues, and it is the wordplay portion. So the word, the word cat won't be in the wordplay portion of six of the clues. So there we go. That's what is going on. Let's have a look at 27 across. And a cat just jumped up on your lap. Uh, and Foggy was very close with Egg Spangler. <laughs> Uh, 20, sorry, yes, 27 across. Uh, occupying WC, Republican spotter. Um, occupying WC, Republican spotter. I mean, Senator Fitz, but is it going to be that? Lou. Lou. Oh, is this? Yes, this is one of them. This is, uh, this is a hidden one. So I'm going to put my cat there. You want to keep your columns? I'm, I'm trying to. Trying to. Um, uh, so, uh, please, uh, Meredith, what is this one? 27 across, go for it. I'm going to start typing in. It is locator, so it's Lou and then Republican. So we've got Lou and Republican. The cat is is hidden in that one. So that is the, the third one of the six. Yep. Yep. Lou. <laughs> 24 down. Uh, 24 down. What Stanley yelled for? A selection of Amstel Lager. Okay. Uh, I know the answer here, but I don't know why. This is going to be a reference that I haven't got. Is there going to be a, a film reference that I don't know? So it's Stella, as you can all now shout in the chat. But why is it Stella? It's, it's literally hidden in Amstel Lager. That's fine. That's where it is. So it's literally hidden there. Who's Stanley? Uh, sub theme beer. Uh, how many beers? Yes, yes, we had the Mexican one. And... Um, is Kualud a beer as well? I think it might be. Uh, any others? But anyway, it's uh, it's definitely Stella. It's a streetcar named Desire. Uh, uh, yet another thing that I have yet to see. Cat burglar. Cat burglar is there. Uh, next clue. Okay. What is this? Is this going to be trend? What do we think? 28 across. No, 29 across without looking. Uh, trend? Is there anything else it can be? Permission to post a link, yeah. Uh, I'm going with trend, because I can't think of anything else that it must be. So 29 across. The way things are going, toddlers beginning to tear up. Yeah, it's trend. So the way things are going, it's a trend. And then uh, if you tear something up, you rend it. Uh, toddlers beginning is T, so you get that. Right, 33 across. Something Prince Charles once held to neutralise an enemy. Something Prince Charles once held to neutralise an enemy. Okay, the cat can't fit in here, so we know this is a normal clue. Something Prince Charles once held... to neutralise an enemy. I mean, it's not napalm. 
<laughs> Napalm sort of fits. What, what letter can go there between the A and the M? Uh, disarm. Disarm. It's so, so if you neutralize an enemy... Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Dies arm. <laughs> okay, that's quite cute. It's a shame... It's a shame that Princess Diana is no longer with us, of course. Uh, but that's that's cute. I, li I like that and also go, oh, at the same time. Um, something Prince Charles once held, dies arm to neutralise an enemy, disarm. It's weird. There's nothing there that is wrong in it or, or in bad taste. And yet I feel a little bit weird about it. There's nothing there that's wrong. So that that's weird. Uh, 23 down. Baloney and German stout. Yet more beer. Baloney and German stout. Yep, got that. Oh, that's a nice clue. That's a good clue. <laughs> Meredith. No, no. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. That's awful. Um, Arch, Kytus, what is 23 down? I like this clue. I like this clue. It is rotund. If uh, you... Uh, oh, that's Stella. Uh, so something's baloney. It's a load of rot. And in German is und. And you get rotund. And something that's rotund is stout. That's good. Uh, right. Uh, let's try 22 down. Excuses of heavyweight champ they're swinging both ways excuses of heavyweight champ they're swinging both ways i've got this but i'm not quite sure why i've definitely got it <laughs> hooray <laughs> oh dear um so I've got this. Kytus, I'm sure you're going to say that it's alibis. Why is it alibis? So, the heavyweight champ, Muhammad Ali, Ali, that's fine. They're swinging both ways? Uh, why is it... Why is it... Oh! Alibis. Uh, okay. Um, I'm okay... It, it, I'm a gay man. I don't mind that. But I can see why... Some people would be offended by that, but swinging both ways. I, I, I'm okay with it. It's, uh, but I can see why some people wouldn't like it. All in all, I think that's fine. So Ali buys and he gets uh, excuses. 31 across. Biting part of leg, clamping guard. Biting part of leg, clamping guard. Part of the leg. Now, it's quite a long clue here. So I, I reckon we could, could be in for a hidden cat. We shall see. Biting, biting acerbic uh, part of the leg, femur, thigh, um, femur, uh, what other bones? There must be more bones in the leg than that. Muscle, tendon, calf, knee, <sighs> clamping guard. I, I think catnip in this case, it was quite a playful context. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. It it, it wasn't insulting, absolutely. Um, biting part of the is it not going to be hidden? Is it? No. Hint, please, Kytus. Hint, please. Thirty-one across. Haven't said it. Is it part of the leg that I haven't got? Right. No, no, I do have it. But uh, uh, ooh, um. It is theme. Okay. Oh, in that case. Shin. Okay, so let's say shin. Shin. If we put cat in shin. Scathing. There we go. There's your scathing. So that is shin. Cat is unclued. And then G for guard? Or is it part of the leg? If something's biting, it's scathing. That's good. Part of the leg is the shin. Clamping guard. So can guard be G? I assume it can. I assume. Uh, 
You still have Cat Burglar. You still need to highlight. Uh, well, sort of. In that I'm highlighting the hidden cats. That 30 was entirely all not there. I can highlight it in a different colour, I guess. Um, but uh, uh, guard. Guard. I think there's going to be another hidden one here for, for 26 down. Uh, so, guard for G seems like a sports thing. Aha! Aha. 26 down, and I reckon this is going to be a hidden one again. Did I put scathing in here? No, I didn't. Uh, ah, 26 down. Feeling the effects of Qualude, or however that said, stripped for online rendezvous. Okay, I've got it. Okay, I've got it. It is it is a normal one, I think. Uh, we'll come down to one down later. We haven't actually done one down yet because we've actually gone uh, around. We're going around the grid. Uh, Quailude. Quailude. Thank you very much. Quilongelude. Quilongelude. Is it an e-date? Is it an e-date? And is it going to be something like sedated? Is it, is it an anaesthetic or something like that? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, uh, they're downers. Fair enough. So you're sedated if you feel the effects of it. It's stripped. So we take off the first and last letters and we get an e-date, which is an online rendezvous. Uh, 32 across. Heavens accepting retired mogul managers. Heavens accepting retired mogul managers. Now I'm wondering if a mogul manager is going to be like a skier or something like that. In fact, I think I think it is skiers. Is it skiers? Because if you manage the moguls, you're doing some skiing. Well, so I I have gone over some moguls, never successfully. Uh, heavens. So is it is it skiers? Heavens. Heavens would be like Edens, wouldn't it? Edens. Except accepting retired mogul managers. Hmm. It is skiers, is it? I'm trying to parse it. So it's oh, the heavens are skies. Thank you. Uh, and retired is R. So in sports, uh, retired is R. Skiers. Art in skies. That's a good clue, actually. So, so good that I didn't spot the parsing even when I had it. Uh, 25 down. Um, Rev Spooner at first goes after Le Sieg's alter ego. I, uh, I don't know who Le Sieg is or even how to say it. Reverend Spooner at first goes after Le Sieg's alter ego. Uh, I think I'm just going to need help on this one. What do you think it is, Dadgum? We'll see if we agree. This this might be a spoonerism. I don't know who Lasig is, which which is it, it, not going to help me at all. Um, uh, so uh, who is that? What is their first name, or who are they? That would be really good to know. Or who their alter ego is, of course. Um, all I can think of is Roy. So it's Roy, is it? Sieg Siegfried and Roy. Uh, uh, it's a kind of... You might name him as Sieg Reversed. Geisel? Does Geisel ring a bell? No. Does not. Oh, Dr. Dr. Zeus, uh, Dr. Theo Lissig is Dr. Zeus. OK, so Reverend Spooner at first goes. So Spooner at first 
it, it sues reversed after a, and then s is that what's going on rev spooner at first yes so spooner is at first is s it go if you go after you sue but it's all reversed so spooner is s spooner at first is s goes after his sues and it's all reversed with that cheeky reverse. It's not Reverend Spooner, it's just reverse. Uh, I try to ignore US politics. I do follow it, but uh, I saw something about Dr. Zeus in the thingy today, but I w didn't pay attention. Uh, let's try 28 across. Duet playing finale of Beyonce's musical piece. Duet playing finale of Beyonce's musical piece. I'm happy with this one. Okay, yeah, I'll give this a few seconds. It is. I like that, Dad. Uh, Dadgum. Clever little hidden in plain sight thing. Uh, Art, what do you think it is? I'm going to start typing it in. It is, in my opinion, etude. It is an etude. Uh, so, uh, etude. Uh, so it's duet playing, anagram of duet. And then the finale of Beyonce is the E. And then uh, it's a musical piece, which is an etude. Uh, let's have a look at 25 across. At audition, rip off Superman's makeup. <laughs> at audition, rip off Superman's makeup. Uh, good clue. I don't know what the... A uh, good surface reading. Uh, rip off. Rip off is probably anagram of rip, maybe. If you're at an audition, you are trying out, you're singing Superman's makeup. Hmm. At audition, rip off Superman's makeup. If you rip off, you tear. Superman could just be S. Makeup could be... Is it going to be a type of makeup? At audition. Oh, is it going to be like Clark Kent or something? Or is it going to be Kal-El? Or is it going to be he's a kryptonite? No, he's not made a kryptonite. That's very wrong. Uh, this is a very... Audition can indicate homophone. That's very true because it's audio. So if you rip off, you tear. You... Uh, you've got to start with S. Um... Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Meredith, for pointing out because I didn't I spotted that and then hadn't hadn't put two and two together. Yes, okay, got that. So just parsing it again in my head. Uh yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with this. Um possibly a little arch, but I'm happy with this. I d I've I've definitely used rip off in this context. I think this is steel, S-T-E-E-L. So to the audience, rip off is S-T-E-A-L. If you steal an idea, you rip it off. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and then uh, Superman was the man of C steel, apparently. Must be a night nightmare trying to get through the, the TSA at um, American airports. 17 down. Nehru let him partly govern a long time. Nehru let him partly govern a long time. Okay. Okay, I think this is... Um... <laughs> okay, aside from pointing out the obvious, what if he needs to maintain his cover on a business trip with his journalist colleagues mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes how is he how is he gonna do that <laughs> okay i know he can fly but <laughs> uh so this is a <laughs> uh this is um ruleth i assume because this is hidden in the clue uh, Nehru let him partly. It's literally hidden. R U L E T H. So I'm assuming is that a senator who was a senator for a long time or something, uh, or something. <laughs> he works at the airport because he gets a revision. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, it's a... Oh, to ruleth. Oh, it's not the name of someone to govern a long time ago. He ruleth. He ruleth over pastures green. Or something. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, what would he show? What would show up on the scanner? This is... If he had to take a flight undercover, he's, got, he's in all sorts of problems, he is. Uh, 21 across. Um... I love you a lot. Humorous poet returns gold in New Hampshire City. Uh, humorous poet returns gold in New Hampshire City. I have a feeling I'm not going to know this city. I might. So this is an American setter. I am absolutely okay with this because it's just... Uh, no one does variety cryptics like this in the UK, which is interesting, really. At least not that are not really sodding hard. Uh, if you like sodding hard ones, you should absolutely follow... Foggy! Uh, he, uh, he streams ridiculously difficult, and I will not water that down. Uh, Variety Cryptics uh, twice a week. Is that still right, Foggy? I do apologise. I think you're still doing Monday and Fridays. Um, but, uh, yeah, highly recommend. So if you like this, but on steroids, oh, yeah. Because th this one is very sane. This is a very sane one. Uh, all we're doing is taking Cat out of six clues. It's relatively easy. Um... I'm not getting this. Humorous poets. Yeah, no idea. Uh, so we're going to be putting gold, which is OR, but reversed, I think. So returned gold. Or oh, hang on. D uh, hang on. Returned gold. That's there, isn't it? Gold is AU and it's returned. So that's already there. OK, New Hampshire City. Is it going to be Joshua or something? Have I heard of the poem Car Goes by Mansfield? No, I haven't. I'm sorry. Um, there is a lot of the world that I don't know. Is it Joshua or something? Okay. So is there a humorous poet called Josh? That is, that is my... You see, I've heard of Candy is Dandy, but Liquor is Quicker, but I couldn't have told you what it was from. So is it Josh is a poet? Is it? Ugh. <laughs> you lot... <laughs> Ogden Nash, okay. Uh, Nash, so Nashua then. Nashua is a city in, in, that's fine, North Hampshire. That's fine, I don't mind not knowing that. Okay, we're getting there. One down. Let's have a look at one down. Uh, oh, no, hang on. We've, yeah, let's have a look at this big one. It's going to be something attack, isn't it? Is it going to be quiz panel attack on Ash's stream, if you want to follow Ash? He does amazing uh, quiz things, so you should absolutely follow him. Uh, nine down. Something attack. Panic attack, maybe? Oh, it could be panic attack. Sign of extreme fear of a negative review. That's going to be a pan. I change direction. So that's going to be... Uh, I... It's, uh, uh, oh, and it's got a hidden cat. Yes. So if you change directions, you tack. So it's pan, I, hidden cat, tack. There we go. So I highlight that. Five cats found. Where's the sixth cat hiding? I bet it's under a bed. Bet it's under a bed somewhere. Having a little snooze. The little thing. Lovely. Uh, so that's panic attack. Let's try one down. Chinese currency seen around Mexican Peninsula. Yes, I think we've found another cat. I think we found another cat. Uh, Survivor did one of their series here. I need a cat just for streaming. No other reason other than the fact that I also do love cats, but just for the streaming. Uh, so this is, this is the Yucatan Peninsula. And the yuan is the currency. Now, can someone tell me, because I've never understood this, what is the difference between the yuan and the renminbi? Because it's known as the renminbi in China or something. Basically, I went to a pub quiz that insisted once that uh, the correct answer for what is the currency of China is the renminbi. And it sort of is, and I don't understand it. Uh, but Yucatan is the is the peninsula in Mexico. I know it is Yuan, but I, there is also, um, there's definitely also something to do with the Renminbi. Or Renimbi. Renminbi. I forget it right now. But um, 15 across. Anyway, we're most of the way through. Editors edited ban on cars. Editors edited bars on cars. Sorry. Editors edited. Oh, it's got to be an anagram of editors. Maybe. 
Are tie rods a thing? Thank you, Instabrucery. There were two currencies, one for domestic and one for foreign transactions. So I assume the which one is which? Couldn't tell you, actually. Uh, are there tie rods on a car? Because that is an anagram of editors. So tie rods could be bars on cars. Tyrados. Tyrados. Okie doke, fine. Uh, let's do the longer of these ones. Three down. Uh... The yuan is the basic unit of the renminbi, but is also used to refer to the Chinese currency generally and interna in international context. Okay. So foreign would be yuan. Yeah, fine. Uh, it was an annoying pub quiz. Uh, three down. Uprising group of women taking on religious symbol. Uprising group of women taking on religious symbol. Hmm. Group of women... Hmm. An uprising would be... Um, oh, uprising could mean group of women. It could, could mean literally uprising. So the group of women could start with H. I mean, could be going upwards. So uh, it's going to be a harem, isn't it? I mean, then harem takes on... Uh, taking on. So you've got the harem reversed. Taking on. Put on in the middle. Four. <laughs> The menorah, which I can't spell. Menorah, which is the religious symbol. Three clues to go. Thirteen across. He says doing them in a random order. Iodine is in any minute charged particle. Uh, yep, happy with that. Iodine is in any minute charged particle. Not the best surface on that one. Oh, no, no, it's better if I actually read it properly. Iodine is in any minute charged particle. Surface reading is fine. <laughs> it's the, the surface Dan is less fine. Iodine is in any minute uh, charged particle. Now, do you say, do you say minute or minute? Yes, I say minute. Uh, it is anion. I is for iodine in anon. If something is in any minute, it's anon. See you anon. You get that. Uh, two clues. Here we go. Uh, what is... Uh, no, I'm going to do this one now. Two down. Poet's concern about one profession. I've got an idea. Is it... Is it metier? Because a poet's concern would be the meter. The, 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 the scansion, the meter. And then it's going to be around one, the letter I, which is one. For metier? Is that right? Do people like that? Have I have I gone completely drunelli? Okay, people do agree with me. Uh, I have lost my place. Two down. There we are. So that was metier. Little uncommon, but acceptable. Fine. Uh, one across. So, this must be Yammer now. So we had M-E-R for R-E-M. Making a comeback, R.E.M. singers, uh, sorry, uh, Man on the Moon singers, R.E.M. Might is May. There we go. Uh, and all of that reversed. And if you yammer, you complain loudly. Good. Uh, it just leaves this one. Four down. Which is down here. Four rays. Going around quietly raging waters. Forays going around quietly raging waters. Well, those must be rapids. Those raging waters must be rapids. Uh, raids. Raids around P. Raids around P for rapids. Your forays are your raids. If you're quietly in music, that's P. And there we go. Catch me if you can. We have caught you. We have caught the six cats. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs>